my dears and welcome back to today's video. I have decided to really challenge myself and do a one eyeshadow look. I have chosen this beautiful color right here. It is Antiqued by MAC. I enjoy purchasing a higher end eyeshadow only because I have noticed in the past that they blend better, they apply better, they're smoother, less fallout comes out of them and it's less work to be honest so the the higher the cost in the eyeshadow the better the formula you're going to get um, anyway I've chosen to use this one here because it its formula is unlike anything that I could find it is called the the Lux pearl and basically it just gives you sort of dimension in one eyeshadow which is what I was looking for when I was looking to do this one eyeshadow tutorial and it was very easy as you'll see to blend it literally i used one brush i used one let's just get on just gonna just gonna start the tutorial all right so i am going to prime my eyelids because whether i'm wearing one or eight eyeshadows i'm always going to prime my eyelids i have really oily lids you guys like any eyeshadow I apply without any primer is always going to crease like right there. And I am not using another eyeshadow to set this. I do set it. I'm just going to set it with a little bit of my face powder today. You can use anything that you would like. Eyeshadow if you want. Then that's cheating and it becomes a two eyeshadow tutorial. So that's why I have chosen to use my face powder instead of an eyeshadow today. So the brush that I have chosen to do this look with is this sort of like pointed crease brush here. It's perfect for me to be able to pack the shadow in and then blend everything out. We're just gonna, you know, dive in dive in with this baby and I'm gonna go ahead and apply some of this gorgeous brown I'm gonna start pretty much down here on the lid first see how pretty that is blending it all out and then I'm gonna go ahead and start working that into my crease just to create, like I said, the dimension. And this shade is going to be perfect for this. See how you could see that with the blending, it's a little darker here, but then it's like lighter here. It almost looks like I have added a darker shade into my V here, but it is all because this particular shade has a pearl, pearl formula it's a, the reflexes act like you're applying multiple shadows but really you've only got one let's do the other side and hope it comes out just like the other side just gonna add a little bit more into right here my outer V just to make it look like, again, I've got multiple shadows in there, but it's only one, girls. It's left over, I'm just going to drag it onto the lower lash line here. Isn't that just stunning? I think it looks so pretty. This just one shade by itself just always looks so nice. A little bit of nude eyeliner to make it look like I'm wide awake. So I only used one eyeshadow shade. Maybe I should try some liner. You guys want to watch me fail on camera? I am so bad at li liquid liner now. I don't know what happened. I used to be really good and then I don't... One day I woke up and I was just horrible at it. So let's see if I'm going to mess up this eye look. Take a look at it now, girls, because it's it can literally just go south right now. Oh gosh, no, don't get crazy. <laughs> I'm going to change my liner to a gel liner instead. I wanted this video to be like three minutes long and now it's turning into a lifetime. You guys are gonna grow old with me. Oh gosh, let's pray the other side looks the same. I went for it. You see my little wing there? 
just a teeny tiny one. <gasps> it doesn't look that bad. It doesn't. I'm just gonna stop now. Yeah, stop now. Stop now. Less is better. Lips, I figured I'd do them on camera for you as well. Let's see. I feel like I should do something different. I always wear the same lipstick, and that's because tastes good. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Monte Carlo and I'm not even going to bother to line my lips because I am too lazy to do such things. So I like love these colors from this NYX line however they are the driest liquid lipsticks ever. In about like an hour, my lips are gonna be like super crusty crust and all of this is just gonna come right off. I overall really like the way that this turned out. Let's, let's put everything together, shall we? Uh... And that's all I've got for you guys today. Hopefully you liked this one eyeshadow look. I think it is great for if you are a beginner. Again, find something with a little more of a satin finish, which is not glittery or not matte, just something in between that'll look pretty and gorgeous, such as this one here. You could use any color you'd like. I've seen YouTubers in the past use more of a purple tone or a cooler tone. I personally just like warmer tones on my skin. I think it complements my eyes and my eyeballs very nicely. This looks really nice on camera. I can't stop staring at myself. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and spread my love for makeup. I will see you guys hopefully sometime later this week. Bye bye.